The mission of, of Catholic schools is to remember that it is God that forms our children and not man. Kids today face so many challenges and so many outside forces. They need Jesus as, as their guide. Because of Catholic schools, I became Catholic. So um, I think it's a huge evangelization tool. There are many alternatives to Catholic education, but there are no substitutes. At the Catholic school, we know that our, our dignity comes from the fact that we are created by God out of love. Every one of these children is unrepeatable with a mission that only they can complete in this world. And I think in this world right now, having that confidence, having that faith, having that hope that even in rough and challenging times, it's not your grade point average or your test scores that are gonna pull you up in those times, it's your faith. I think the integration of, of Jesus uh, in everyday circumstance, whether it's through the math class, English class, even science, just realizing that God has a hand in all of that, you know, that's, you can only get that at a Catholic school. Every subject we try to have something that relates to our faith, and I think just being able to do that every day, all day, is going to have a big impact on the kids. That religion isn't just one subject among many, but that it permeates all the subjects, all of the knowledges, all the disciplines. Through that, they can see that God is, is active and present in every part of their life. One of the biggest challenges that our students face today uh, is that there are so many voices. And when you have so many of those voices, uh, it can become even more difficult for them to hear the voice of God speaking to them in their own hearts. And so, you know, for us to be able to give them a moral compass, you know, if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, then some of the noise of the world kind of goes away, right? And, and our path is more clear. So the greatest gift we received being part of a Catholic school was the gift of baptism. Um, it was through our involvement with Catholic schools that we decided that we would take the leap of faith and become Catholic. Neither Anthony or myself have been baptized, and so um, we received all of our sacraments. Yeah, I think that our children drive our growth in our faith. You know, as they're learning more about the Catholic faith, they have questions, and, and they're asking. Uh, we look for answers, and when we look for answers, you know, we look to Mass, we look to the Bible. Ultimately, we look to Jesus, and that's where we find it. So even if I'm a member of the parish and I don't have children in the school, um, I know that that contributes to the good of the parish and contributes to the mission of the parish, that we exist um, to, to form hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Um, and that's what happens each and every day at the school. The kids come through, obviously we see them, and then we see their brothers and we see their sisters, and I just think it makes it a tight-knit community, and everyone is truly, truly concerned about everyone else. It's not a me, 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 you're just about my child. And I think a lot of that just goes back to our faith, that we're living out what Jesus wanted us to do, to be his disciples, and we see that every day in the way the kids treat other kids, um, in the way families care for each other, in the way teachers care for each other. There's no place that does everything that a Catholic school can do for a child, for a family, for the community. So my hope for every student in Catholic school is uh, that God is not just one part of their life, but that God is very much interested in, in every part of their life. That interest in them doesn't end when they graduate. And so no matter what they go on to do in their life, uh, they will always be eager to include God in everything that they do. Yeah.